because it is just a quick video about uh, a brake caliper rewind tool, brake caliper rewind problems you might have. It's just a tip on, you're probably frustrated at this point hey, if you can't get a caliper rewinded, especially if you're using a specific type of kit like this. This is called a universal kit. It's pretty cheap. It, I think I picked this up for like 20 quid a few years back. Uh, there are more expensive ones on the market, both universal and a kit. And when I say universal, it usually comes with the rewind thing on one head that will do majority of cars out there. Um, you're probably going to have the problems with a brake caliper on the rears because of the handbrake. It leaves it that little bit harder always to... Nine times out of ten, you're going to get a an easy caliper if it's regularly... If it was changed, it'll be easy enough to rewind back. But usually that first few turns back on a brake caliper I've found is, you know, it's just a, you're going to be using a lot of swear words, let's just say. But what I find is with people I see using this type of kit, uh, but I've seen it online and I've seen it in person, the more expensive ones and the singular ones you buy have a, kind of a bolt head here on it which is a great job because you, can, if it gets tight, you can put a socket and a ratchet on it. You have more leverage as if you're able to hold the caliper. Anyone that's rewind back a cal brake caliper piston will know what I'm talking about. But yeah, they're a great job. Unfortunately, these cheaper sets don't come with things like that. Now, if you have a welder and want a welder not onto it, that's perfect. But that's pretty soft metal. I wouldn't be doing it. But what I see with most people, this is bent from naturally enough putting either a bar on it or i see some people putting in like water pump players like that to, to try and twist it and it's that soft it just bends you know so i'm after doing my uh breaks there and i just came across one one of the calipers was pretty pretty tough to get going but the voice grips is your friend and if you haven't a set of voice grips you should definitely have three of them <laughs> and if you haven't a set of voice grips then uh, you shouldn't be watching this video more or less instead of putting on a bar or trying to force this thing because you're only going to bend it and possibly do a bit of scoring or damage the boot on the piston because you anyone that knows what i'm talking about knows how hard it is to wind back a piston but all you got to do is when you have that mechanism in obviously this will rewind your piston in way, way better than putting something on that bar, okay? So get a set of vice grips, clamp them onto that there, and just slowly walk your piston in. And if you're finding your, your piston's hard enough to get it in at first, take it back a little bit. There'll be enough on the lugs when you have your head on just to slightly move it back. As I found, walking it over and back just like that there, it, it does free up that pit, that first tough move of a piston but once you get a turn or two on that piston it'll free up and you can re revert back to just using this usually on the hand unless your caliber is totally seized but yeah that's my tip for if you're using this type of brake rewind tool where you, you you can put a socket on there get your vice grips clamp them on slowly walk your way around you will have room within the wheel arch to do it and you get your job done okay so that's it thanks for watching